Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to find a cable tray using an element ID from Revit to Navisworks. So I'm going to turn on my work sets. That way I know what uh, type of cable tray that I'm looking for. Navisworks. I will click this one particularly. And under your properties, you will see an element ID. I will copy and paste. And then I will go to Novice Works. And then in order to find the element ID in Novice Works, I will go to Viewpoint, Enable Sectioning, then click on it again, and then go to Home. And under Define Items, I will copy and paste that element ID. And then I will search it. And there it is. It, us it will highlight it for you. It's this one right here. And then you can verify. Uh, let's uh, hide this. This is a clearance. And what's the element ID? Okay, that's the element ID in Revit as well. And another, and you can also do a 3D in here in order to see it in Revit. And then you will expand your view. I will expand my view. That way I can see it. I'll spend it this way on the other side. There it is. Uh, Novice works. I see this drop ceiling. I see the drop ceiling and grab it as well. And then if I go, I can also look for this uh, cable tray. You can look at the element ID under your properties. You can copy and paste. And now you can go under find items, search it. There it is, it's, it's highlighting it for you. And that's it's an easy process um, to find the element ID from Revit to Novice Works. The only thing that you will have to do is to set up uh, any item, any electrical device to show an element ID from uh, your Revit model, and then you can uh, be able to find it in Novice Works. And if you have any questions, you can comment below. And if you like this type of content, give it a like and subscribe. And I also post um, questions about electrical or any MEP, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, or anything related to the engineering field. And thank you.